For today's top five, five forgotten actresses from the 90s and where they are now. In the 90s, Nev Campbell rose to a modest level of fame because of her role in Party of Five. Do I you remember know? her, yeah. Okay, you watched the show? Mm -hmm. She also starred in the Scream series and Wild Things. Campbell currently has two films in various states of production, so she's still trying to, you know, maintain mm -hmm. that acting career. Sarah Michelle Gellar is best known for her role as Buffy in the hit series Buffy the Vampire Slayer. We know Christine likes that show. Gellar has starred in a number of movies, including Cruel Intentions, Scooby-Doo, and Harvard Man, but her film career remains relatively limited. In 2011, she starred in The Ringer, which was canceled due to a decline in ratings and viewership. Tiffany... Thiessen, better known as Kelly Kapowski. She was in Saved by the Bell and mm -hmm. Beverly Hills 90210. Thiessen went on to appear in Two Guys and a Girl. Now, Thiessen hasn't had an especially active career since Beverly Hills 90210 ended. However, she starred in the USA Network crime series White Collar. So we really haven't seen much from her since those. Nope. those Tif were huge. Tiffany Amber Thiessen was the name she used when mm -hmm. she was on TV back yep. then. Mm -hmm. Yep, shortening it now. Carrie Russell, I love her. She skyrocketed to fame, playing the lovely Felicity Porter in the hit show Felicity. Did you ever watch this show? Negative. No, this was a good one. Russell Not had... once. No, okay. I bet you your wife did. This seems like a show she would like. <laughs> Russell has Possibly. since appeared in a number of movies, including Mission Impossible 3, Waitress, and Extraordinary Measures. More recently, she starred in a new series called The Americans. And Heather Locklear is best known for her role as Amanda Woodward and an advertising executive on Melrose Place, who was always up to no good. She also had a role in Spin City and Boston Legal. These days, Locklear may be better known for her personal struggles, which included DUI and hospitalization and two trips to rehab.